Hey folks, this video is a little bit late, I apologize. I'm just really now getting around to recording it. And the video is for the month of November when I did my MTV Slam for that video. Check it out in the description section if you have not seen it yet. But for that video, I was runner up for that month for the MTV Slam contest. They contacted me by email saying that I won a uh, $75 gift box. And I've kind of already opened it uh, about a month ago. And I'm just now getting around to this late kind of video. And they asked me to share what was in the box with uh, you know, let's make a video of it. Let's open the box, I already know what's in it, but there's some really good baits in here. I was really surprised. First thing, I just grab, I'm just gonna grab random things out of the box. So it is this right here. This is called Ishman Rowe's Bling Spinner Bait. It is by River to Sea. Uh, I love Ishman Rowe products, especially his Ish's Fat Frog. That is by far my most favorite frog to fish. So this should definitely be great spinner bait right here. So that's the first thing. Next thing in here is another uh, river to see, Stand in Yabby. That right there. It's already got the hook and stuff embedded in it, so it stands up, and it's got really creepy eyes on it. So uh, that, that might be cool to fish. I've never fished it before, but we'll see. Next in here is Soft Bait Series Whip'em Bait. It is tubes right there. It's like a tube grub. And I like it. It's got a good smell to it too. But, you know, fishing tubes are another great way of catching uh, bass, for sure. Next, one of my favorite uh, jigs, and that is the Zero Gravity Jig by, uh, who makes Zero Gravity Jig? Zero Gravity Jig makes Zero Gravity Jig. <laughs> but the cool thing about this uh, Zero Gravity Jig is that it falls one foot every three seconds in the water. So to even slow it down further, I actually put a uh, swimming super fluke junior on the back of this right here as the trailer. And the uh, tail action, it really shimmies down as it's falling down off the uh, super fluke junior, the swimming version. And it really um, adds to this presentation and it slows it down even by uh, probably about another second. So that is another uh, thing I like to use mainly in the fall when the, you know, when the shad are dying off because of the cold water but also it can be effective in uh, the spring. All right, next in here is Big Bites Sugar Cane Five Inch Worm. It's kind of a cool little paddle tail worm. It's got an interesting smell to it. Then I got Berkeley Gulp Alive Marinade. Garlic, oh. <laughs> Berkeley Gulp Alive Marinade. Uh, it is uh, a scent. A spray scent. Next in the box is a square bill. This right here. It is by Seville Action First. And it is one fourth ounce, dies three to five foot. That'd be definitely that'd definitely be useful for sure. Okay. And then we got the rodent by KVD. Soft plastic. That right there. Let me grab one. Take it out the pack for you. That might be really good for uh, punching because how streamlined it is in the body. There's not too many tentacles coming off. So that might be a great punching bait right there. Normally on a punching rig, I fish like a Missile V-Bomb or a Berkeley Havoc um, Devil Spear. There's another great um, punching bait I use. Next in here is a Gambler Cane Toad Lane Toad. Gambler Lane Toad Cane Toad. That's, that's kind, of, uh, kind of confusing. Uh, it's a watermelon color. Now, normally I'm fishing hollow belly frogs, but uh, occasionally bass tend to not bite them. And so that is when I'm gonna switch to a smaller, compact, uh, you know, frog bait, uh, soft plastic frog bait. Uh, my favorite soft plastic frog bait is a uh, Reactions Innovations Trixie Shark. But I'm definitely gonna try this Gambler 
cane toad, lane toad. Next in here is a chatterbait. Yep. Oh gosh. This is a 5 8 ounce. That is a big sucker right there. And it is uh, black with a little bit of green on it. But it's a chatterbait. Chatterbaits are great. Got another spinnerbait by Cyclone Bait. Okay, next in the, in the box is a Optimum Bait. It's a swimming bait. It's a line through swim bait where the treble hook comes out under it and you feed your line through its mouth and the, you uh, hook the treble hook up under it. Just like that. Now we got a Berkeley Power Bait. These things stink to high heaven, but they catch fish. Oh my gosh, these things smell. It is the Fighting Bug. That is a gnarly looking crayfish bait. Berkeley Power Bait stink to high heaven, but they do catch fish. Next in here is my favorite wacky worm for drop shotting, and that is a Berkeley Havoc Moneymaker by Brandon Polinick. This one right here. So this is a drop shot wacky worm bait. Cool thing about this bait is, you know, you got that bulge in the middle right there, so you always know where, where the, uh, the middle is. But it starts just a tiny bit thinner right here in the center, and then as it goes out to this bulge on the side, it gets just a little bit fatter. So it's gonna have a, a lot more uh, erratic action going down. Also, when you're fishing wacky style on drop shots, uh, the fall descent of the bait is slowed down at least by 40 to 50 percent. So you, because of the, uh, it's displacing more water as it's falling. So it's going to take just a little bit longer for the bait to get to the bottom if you're fishing wacky uh, style. So definitely keep that in mind if you're wacky fishing a worm on drop shot. That's that. Next in here is a live target thread fin shad. This is a great small tight wobbling crankbait for sure. This is going to be great probably in the pre-spawn because it's coming up. Um, I think it's coming up in the next few, uh, I think it's coming up in the next few weeks I believe. We're still in a winter pattern right now. I just got done fishing today and I was catching all the uh, fish in uh, the deep water. So, but it's starting to warm up so I think our, the pattern here is getting ready to change to a pre-spawn um, coming up because the water temperature is starting to rise. It's in the high 40s, low 50s right now. I definitely believe so. Next, we got the spot remover right there. Shaky head stand up worm one. When I'm fishing a uh, shaky head, I'm fishing a, mostly a rubber worm, 6.5 inch uh, worm. Got some drop shot stuff. Love drop shot stuff. Uh, this right here is not drop shot stuff, but is a VMC X long wide gap hook. Oh. And it's four off. Next, Drop shot hook, one aught size drop shot hooks. These are more for power shot, and I would use this when I'm power shotting a little bit bigger baits. And that uh, when I'm using bait casting gear, that's when I'll use this VMC uh, big drop shot hooks. And then you got your quick drops right there. They're a little bit heavier, so I'm going to use that when I'm fishing just a little bit deeper. Then also we got some more scent. It's called Bait Mate Fish Attractant Live Game Fish. You've got a River to Sea lead rubber jig. It's in green color, one fourth ounce. And then last in the box is a <laughs> dude wipe. If you're out there on the, on the water and you gotta go to the shore and do your business, make sure you got some dude wipes, definitely. Well, you know, uh, some of these baits I've never fished before, a good amount of the baits I've never fished before from this, for the companies. So this is definitely gonna be a great, uh, just a test box for me and seeing how I like these baits and stuff like that. This box is definitely gonna get used this year. I can tell that they do take a lot of time in, into putting these prize boxes together. And Mystery Tackle Box does a really amazing job on their prize boxes and also on the regular tackle boxes. So I do believe that they are the best uh, grab tackle box out there. You've got Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, uh, and I'm sure you got a few other ones, but I believe out of all of the ones that I've seen, Mystery Tackle Box is by far my favorite. Um, they are an amazing company. So definitely check out Mystery Tackle Box and be sure to subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box and get one. For your first month, you can get it for $5. You go to the website and then they ask for a code and the code section you put get 499 and you get your first Mystery Tackle Box for only $4.99, $5. So that is a great deal. And then if you don't like it, I would think you would because I love it. 
then uh, you just cancel the service and you've got all that free tackle for five dollars normally uh, the normal boxes are around you pay 15 and you get about 30 dollars worth of tackle in it but i do the uh, the pro box version of it and uh, that's 25 dollars a month and i get um it's about fifty dollars worth of baits uh, you don't get any, you still get soft plastics, but you get full packs of stuff. Well, uh, sorry it took me so long to get this video made about this box. Sorry, Mystery Tackle Box. Y'all asked me to do this about a month ago, and I'm just now getting to it. I apologize. Thumbs up this video, lets me know that you guys really like the videos that I make, and I'll continue making more videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet, because there's going to be a lot more fishing videos to come. Till next time, I will see you bassoon. My favorite exit line. Take care.